Hello everyone, welcome to TFL Traders channel. Today I will share with you a very interesting topic, that is how to backtest robot on MT4 platform with accuracy up to 99.9%. First of all, I want you to understand that, to check whether a strategy is working or not, backtesting is very important, for traders who specialize in using automated trading bots on the MT4 platform like you and me. Backtest is almost mandatory. In fact, the person backtesting the robot gave an amazing result, from $100 can turn into $1 million. However, when backtesting with 99.9% .9 accuracy, the result is completely opposite. It is because the data source available from MT4 is incorrect. And today, I will guide you exactly step by step how to backtest 99.9% .9 accuracy with data source from Kickstory. It's very easy, not as difficult as you think. Just watch the video carefully from beginning to end, and follow exactly what I instruct. Don't miss any detail, because if you do it wrong, you will not get 99.9% .9 accuracy. Okay, we will start right now. To backtest correctly, we will do 4 simple steps below. Step 1. Download and install TickStory software. Step 2. Configure TickStory. Step 3. Download and import data. Step 4. Do the backtesting. And now we will practice the first step. Download and install TickStory software. First, we will visit the website TickStory.com. Then click on download tab. Here we have two choices, free version and paid version. The biggest difference between these two versions is, with the free version, we can get the data for one year only. And with the paid version, we have no time limit. If you have money, you should use the paid version. The purpose is that you can backtest for a long time without interruption. And if you're watching this video, I think most likely you are a newbie or inexperienced. So I will guide you to use the free version. Now, we will click on the download button. Then we need to wait 120 seconds. If you don't want to wait, you can share TickStory on social media like Facebook or Twitter, as you see. After the end of 120 seconds, a window will automatically appear. Now we choose the path to save the installation file. In this case, we choose download folder as default. Now we will go to the download folder, and find the downloaded installation file. We will right click and select run as administrator, and will press the next button a few times to complete the installation. Ok, after the installation is complete. The TickStory screen will automatically appear. We click Accept button to start using TickStory. Step 2. Configure TickStory. Before proceeding with the installation, please notice that MT4 versions affect backtest accuracy. According to my experience, you should try to select the last version that TickStory supports. As you can see on the screen, we should use MT4 software build version 1356 is the best. In case we do not have 99.9% .9 accuracy with this version, you should downgrade your MT4 to the older version. In this computer, there are many MT4 softwares of different brokers. And now we are going to check which MT4 version is bulb 1356. Now we will test OctaFX broker first. We will open the MT4 software of OctaFX, then click on the help tab, then select about. We will see which version of MT4 you are using. Here is build 1353, not the build 1356 we are looking for. Doing the same, we will test the Ticknell broker. And as you can see on the screen, this is the MT4 version we need. And now, we will proceed to configure the tick story. We will click on the setup button. At the Dukascopy data source tab, we have to choose where to store the historical tick data of the currency pairs, these data are taken from Dukascopy. A reputable and reliable historical data source. You can store it anywhere in your computer. In this example, we will create a folder named data from TickStory, in partition C for storage. 
Next, we switch to the MT4 setting tab. This step is for the connection between the TickStory software and your MT4. We need to provide the path to the MT4 file. If you do not know where it is located, let's do it this way. Right click on the MT4 software icon. Select the properties tab, then click the open file location button. And this is exactly what we need. Remember it or write it down. Return to TickStory. We will click on the select button at the top. Then choose the correct path in the previous step. Done, click OK to complete the configuration process. Step 3. Download and import historical data. OK. If you have not subscribed to this channel, press the subscribe button so you do not miss any interesting things also many robot we will share free. If you find this video helpful, please like and share it to those who need it. Thank you. And now we continued step 3. Before downloading historical data, we have to do a very important step. That is deleting historical data in MT4 software. These may be historical data that are not accurate. Okay, please do exactly what I do below. Open the MT4 software. Select the file tab. Select open data folder. Select history. Select the account server. Here, we will have to delete all files with HST format. But before proceeding to delete, we have to close the MT4 software. Because if you do not close it, MT4 will automatically generate download historical data without high accuracy. OK, now we proceed to delete the HST files. Now it's time to download historical data and import it into MT4 software. In today's example, we will download the data of the GBPUSD currency pair. First, we select the Forex item. In the right panel, select GBPUSD currency pair. Right click and select download. And the system will ask us how long does it takes to backtest. As at the beginning of the video, we are using the free version. Maximum download time is one year. But in this example, to save time, we choose last month. We will wait for the system to download. After the download process has completed 100%, we will import the data into the MT4 software. Now we move the mouse pointer to the GBPUSD currency pair. Right click and select export to MT4. Select last month. Do not change other parameter and click OK. Continue to wait until 100% complete. So now we have finished downloading and importing data into MT4. Important notice, before importing historical data, you must ensure that your MT4 software is closed. Step 4. Do the backtesting. Now it's time to do our main work today. Backtesting. But before proceeding, an extremely important note that you cannot do wrong. That is you have to open the MT4 software from TickStory. Do not open directly from the icon on the screen. Okay, now we can start backtesting a robot. At the screen of TickSory, select the Tool tab, then select Launch MT4. At this time, the MT4 software will be open. At the screen of MT4, select the View tab, select Strategy Tester. Then you choose Robot, Currency Pair, Backtest period Time frame Adjust the parameters if necessary Then we press the start button and wait for the result
Okay, backtesting finished. As you can see, we have 99,9% accurate result. Now we will summarize the important notes. If you do not follow exactly the instructions, you may not get 99.9% .9 accurate results. 1. MT4 versions affect backtest accuracy. You should try to select the last version that TickStory supports. In case we do not have 99.9% .9 accuracy with this version, you should downgrade your MT4 to the older version too. Before download and import historical data to MT4 software, you have to do deleting historical data in MT4. Before delete them, you must ensure MT4 software is closed. 3. Before importing historical data, you must ensure MT4 is closed also. 4. Do not open MT4 software directly from the icon on the screen. You must open the it from TickStory. In this video, I have shared all my experiences to be able to backtest to 99.9% .9 accuracy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like, and share it to your friends. Those who are not knowing how to backtest are 99.9% .9 accurate. If you have any questions, please comment below this video. Thank you for watching the video.